what gave you the confidence to just say, I can do this. I'm going to start this. I know how to take, I mean, what were even like next steps and how did you get from this is a thing to, I want to make a potential business around that. Yeah. So um, it's kind of funny. I think I've always been a little too confident <laughs> in certain things. So I think that it was just one of my characteristics of my personality that I was like, well, why wouldn't I be able to do it? And I think that's something that I learned just from being a woman kind of in the STEM field in college. I have constantly been, you know, proving myself, things like that. I think that's something that a lot of women deal with in general. And so I think that that was something that I kind of already had in my head of, well, I definitely don't want somebody else to invent it if it's this good, this good of an idea. And so I think the biggest part of it, and you know, you see it in the name of our company and in a lot of things that I do and a lot of the groups that I'm part of, but community is so important. And I think even in college, just having a network of people that are encouraging and are, you know, uplifting those dreams and ideals. I think that, you know, because I was in physics and in acting, it's two groups of people that it's very far-fetched jobs and um, very far-fetched kind of careers. And so I think that just having both of those groups of people, I have a really, really supportive family. And, you know, honestly, it was something that I think any great company, if you actually have such an amazing idea or you're really, really solving a problem, it's kind of like, okay, duh. I mean, why does this not exist? And so I really you know, relied on being a college student, you can get a lot more people to answer your phone call or answer your emails. And so I relied a lot on that. And I really just went um, first to my dad and just said, Hey, do you know anyone in the tech space at all? And he honestly was like, No, not really. But maybe some some of my college friends or something might. And so I reached out to one of his friends and kind of said, This is my idea, please don't steal it, I guess. And um, he said, you need to just start looking to see if you want to code it yourself, if you want to have a student help you, if you want to have another company help you, whatever it might be, and really spent um, the greater part of eight months figuring out exactly what I wanted, what the mission of the company was, what ideals were non-negotiables, and what things like really I wanted to be part of the company, and just kind of ran it from there. I think, you know, a big part of my personality is just, I've always been the youngest. I'm, you know, five, two, I've always been pretty small. And just, I always have been kind of able to just see past, okay, just because I'm young or just because I'm small or just because I'm a girl, isn't really a viable excuse for why I couldn't make the next best company or the next best thing or get a good grade or whatever it might be.